Mangity Flag! Oh, hello there. My name is Fox Ryan, so they can have it, Fox. And this is my new witch gun. Totally not a nerf gun. But anyways, um, I just finished watching the newest episode of Star vs. the Forces of Evil. And you know, wands are awesome. Also now, guns are. But anyways, um, but anyways, how, what did I say? These two episodes were, I totally looked it up on Google and totally forgot to look it up. Like, look at the thing. Hungry Larry and Spider with a Top Hat. These two episodes, well, one's a Halloween episode for one, and two, Jana's in it, so fudge yes, and three, man, three is, I hope this thing isn't lagging very badly, because my screen looks all laggity flaggity. Um, I don't know why the fudge I keep saying that. Also, apparently that may be a South Park thing, I'm not sure. But, um, anyways, uh, basically the first one was Hungry Larry, where... Mr. Diaz, Marco's dad, basically goes saying, saying, oh, well, um, well, he has a haunted house set up and no one's scared of the haunted house. So Star has the great idea. Hey, well, one, um, no one's scared of the haunted house and Mr. Diaz is just sad and he goes to his shack to cry and shred up Frankenstein and like this, um, uh, whichever. So Star has the bright idea. Let's summon Hungry Larry, a ghost for hire, basically. Um, Marco says, no, no summoning. I want to go find some five-year-old to bribe. Sounds very out of context. That might not sound very good. But, yeah. So, but Star and Jana both say, ah, screw it. Let's, you know, all right, let's summon him. So they summon Hungry Larry, which is like this little, I don't even say Casper. It's a little sheet ghost. And what the fudge happens after the sheet goes appears? Like he doesn't seem to be very scary, just like a creep. And till Jana goes upstairs one point to fire Hungry Larry, she screams like crazy. He goes, ah! Everyone's like, oh! and like, and then everyone comes to this haunted house, going, oh, is, your, uh, is this your, where did that blood curling scream came from? Yay! And all the kids run upstairs, and one. You hear Jana scream, and no one goes up to check on her. I don't care if it is Halloween. If someone screams that loudly, you might want to go check on them. Especially if there's a, a ghost that you just freaking summoned. But, so, all the kids go upstairs, and start, and Marcus like, why did you summon him? And Star's like, oh, don't, don't worry, um... Look, they're all having fun. Don't you hear their screams of enjoyment? And it's just silent. He goes, no, I don't. They go upstairs. Marco gets one. You hear, like, the kids, like, all their voices together, just like, he's hungry. And they just then, like, Marco gets sucked in, and then, like, the monster comes and eats Star as well. And then right then after that, Mr. Diaz comes back in. Um, he goes back in, he's like, Marco? He's like calling for anyone, like, starts playing on the piano. I don't know if that's a reference to anything, but he starts playing on the piano, and then black goop falls on his hand. And also, well, I'll bring it up in a bit, but, um, also, there's a point where, um, Marco picks up some candy and goes, candy. And Star goes, well, of course, it's Halloween. Then she licks, like, the black liquid off the wall and goes, saliva. <laughs> but then, fast forward back to Mr. Diaz. Mr. Diaz go upstairs, finds Hungry Larry's all big, and he's talking about all the multi voices of like all the children inside of him. Saying you bet you should count your blessings that um, I'm full, cause unless I'd eat you. And then Mr. Diaz goes, But my family is my blessing. Says, you know, he ate his family. Or the ghost ate his family. He's like, Oh, he's like, Oh, well, I mean, be happy that you're alive. Or that you're not dead, you're not being eaten. And so Mr. Diaz then goes ballistic, goes, Give me back my family! He starts punching the ghost, like, like trying to get inside the ghost. Um, like you, you see candy all over him as like the ghost throws him up, and then Mr. Diaz jumps back inside and scares all the kids on inside of the ghost while as like looking all scary with like candy all over him. But while he gets inside, that makes um, I guess it hits the gag reflex where the guy's so full that he throws up. But Hungry Larry vomits up all the kids and the candy and black liquid. And the ghost says, You see, what you learned today is that. You, you don't need to be scary to have family or some bullcrap like that. And then 
And Mr. Diaz just goes, get out of my house. And Hungry Larry leaves, goes inside the little car, and goes, I'm trying to ungrateful a-hole, and then a taxi floats up. And I'm just like, what the fudge? Is the taxi a ghost? He's going back to Halloween Town? It is Disney. Um, actually, now at that point, you need to wonder which Halloween Town. Because there's Halloween Town in Nightmare for Christmas, and there's Halloween Town, the sh TV shows that they used to show on, like, the Disney Channel. Do they even still show those during Halloween? I remember I used to like those. Pretty sure if I watched them now, they're probably very dumb, but I I, I, I would like to rewatch those just to see. But, um, what happened afterward? I'm trying to think. Um... Oh, the next one was Spider with a Top Hat. One, in this this episode, also one, um, for a Halloween episode, this one was very terrifying, FYI. Um, not the Spider with a Top Hat, I mean the one beforehand, uh, Hungry Larry. That one actually has some very creepy imagery, and it really works. Um, I don't know why Star Wars The Force Evil is suddenly having so many horror elements in it, but it's pretty, it's pretty good, though a little bit crazy. And also, I'm wondering how this world is starting to be built up. Because some of these things, I feel like they're going to run into some problems soon of explaining. But um, basically, the next episode takes place almost entirely inside Star's Wand. Where apparently every monster she creates or summons, um, they all... It's like a genie in a bottle type of shtick. Where they are in like a pocket dimension. Wands, wand is bigger on the inside, I guess. It's a pocket dimension where this little spider comes in and he basically is kind of an entertainer to all of the spells. And all of the spells, like the Warnicorns, the... Um, also, they have like gyms and everything in there, like houses. They have families. It's kind of a cool... It's kind of cool... But, um, uh, it's kind of like a genie in the bottle type of shtick, you know, they go inside, it's very nice on the inside and all that. But, um, all the spell, and, but the spider, um, not memor mesmerize, um, basically he wants to be like these other spells, because these other spells are, you know, big buff and, like, get summoned so many times and to fight for star, and he wants to do that, and, like, even every night he tries to do his own spider blast, where he... That sound is so wrong. He tries to do his spider blast. Ugh. But, um, where he slams himself against the wall trying to break it. And, you know, he can never do it. And he also has, like, the thing, deal of, like, you know, waking everybody up, entertaining them so that way they don't feel stressed. But then eventually he gets sad, especially when Narwhal comes in. And, um, or one of the Narwhals says, Spider, you, 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 you have to be yourself or whatever. You can't do this. You're not, like, you know, that strong like us and stuff like that. And he gets sad. He gets super depressed. But then suddenly a war or some kind of battle happens that we don't see. Also, they talk about um, Hungry Larry, um, the epi this episode. Like, it, like this is, like these two episodes are apparently very recent, close to each other. Or what's happening in the wand is very close to each other for each of them. And this is Star Shot. Bella Blast at Hungry Lair. I'm like, no, I don't remember any of those. But, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. But, um, the spider gets all sad and depressed. But and then, a oh, giant war happens. Everyone gets started getting shot out of the wand until all that's left is spider. And, like, and... Is this, like, slavery? I don't know. Probably. And now here's another question, too. Are the w creatures in the wand captured monsters or is it like their generation of monsters was captured within the wand and so now they i don't know i have no idea also the star symbol inside of the wand is also cracked so i don't know like where did, where did the in other piece go i know in a sense that you know ludo has the other half but i mean in, in this wand why in the pocket dimension is the star broken? Is it just like it broke off or disappeared? I, I guess I'll say magic disappeared when the other one was broken. But um, also shows that the star is basically what allows them to... At least the star jewel allows star to access the power of the wand. But um, 
so little spider gets shot. At, well, one, the war in the core comes in and goes selling the top hat spider. You have a hat of a warrior. And then he says heart. And then, but then little spider comes out. Like these giant we- gets summoned and he's completely scared. All every monsters all get hurt. It's like if you saw Sausage Party, which if any of you are under 18, do not go see Sausage Party. If you're over 18, sure, go see Sausage Party. Don't. Under under 18, don't. Oh, actually, you know what? Do. No, don't. 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 Don't do it. Don't do it. I do not need crap for sending kids to go see Sausage Party. Don't. Over 18. Because I do not need the crap or backlash from that. But, um... Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. <sighs> But anyways, um, little spider comes out and like these giant werewolves. One grabs Marco, the other one like eats Star, and then the little top hat goes. The little top hat spider's like he doesn't know what to do. But then his hat, I forgot what he's. Eating. Oh yeah, he goes um, I'm a spider with a top hat. The the werewolf comes looks like he's gonna like destroy the spider. He goes and the spider gets all brave and goes, I'm a spider with a top hat. Top hat lifts up. Turns, turns into like a cannon and just goes <gasps> with a laser gun. Man, I am just spitting all today. And just starts shooting lasers at the werewolf. And like, it's cool because like also like there's the shells that are going into like the cannon are firing and like the shells are top hats too. I'm like, okay, that's that's kind of cool. And, you know, shooting blight, laser beams, laser beams, finally defeats the wolf. Um, everything goes back to regular. And Marco's like, what hat? Spider with a top hat did it. Also, Mark Lee said, what is the spider with the top hat going to do? But then at the end, he's like, spider with the top hat did it. And then it turns out the reason why, because spider, the reason why he does feel bad also because he's never been summoned. He even thinks he's just an entertainment spell. And what I really like is, um, Star then goes, my little, t- my little top hat spider, then I, str- my strongest spell. And I'm just thinking, oh crap, that's why he's never been summoned. Nothing's ever been so dire to summon him. That's like some. It's basically like, like, oh, why don't we use a nuke? Because we don't really have that big of a threat. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that that was a that was, this was a pretty this is a pretty good episode. Though again, they I don't know if they're shooting themselves in the foot, shooting themselves in the foot, um, a little too early though because or shooting themselves in the foot because. It's kind of like, okay, we know that inside the wand there's a little treadmill with a with a unicorn running it. Okay, we get that. That's its power source. Though it also needs batteries to power it. But then also, apparently all the spells are pre-made and are inside this wand. You see, this wand is getting very complicated. The story, maybe not. Not yet, but... This one is getting very complicated, and I don't know why it's becoming complicated. Because I can understand, okay, little jewel at the end of the wand. Connect it in, it charges the battery for the wand. Good. Um, The little unicorn running in it, it's a little meter for it. All right. But then it's that the little unicorn actually is the power source. But then what is the little wand, the charger battery for? And then also... If the battery is unplugged and there's no unicorn in it, or the battery dies and you're unicorn in it, does the does like that pocket dimension crush? Is that why like the wand won't be able to be worked if they don't get the battery? Like would it just like kill everything inside the wand? I don't know. This wand is a very complex machine, apparently. Very complex. I mean, look at that hand, that um the wandy pointy thing. Zap. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. It's a pretty good episode. Definitely want to see more. Um, the wand, again, is a very complex tool. Don't know why, but it is. Uh, but anyways, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if Skulder ever watches this video, or watch it, not this video, watches the sh- episode because he's not online right now, I'll probably, you know, call him up. We probably watch, we probably um, do a review on it as well. But... Pretty good episode. Though I kind of want to know what the fudge is with the werewolves. I'm guessing it'll be brought up in another episode. Because it's not like Adventure Time where like it's not brought up until like 10 episodes down. But, yeah. Um, they're getting a little bit more creative. Well, kind of creative. I kind of guess Hungry Lair, he eats kids. Kind of a, you know, you know Halloween. 
Mr. Diaz is crazy. The parents are crazy. Jana is showing more time, which I don't know if that's good. Because if I remember correctly, Marco's friends who have, you know, disappeared into the ether, um, didn't they have a couple episodes back to back to back with Star and Marco? And then they just like, they're gone, they're disappeared. We don't know where the fudge they went. Um, and now Janna is popping up like every like episode, which again, I like Janna. It's pretty awesome. Oh, every other episode, because there's always like, you know, it's a star episode and then there's whatever else episode. It's doing a wander over yonder, wander hater thing for like each of the two episodes, but it's going star something else, which I guess is pretty all right. But either way, thank you everyone so much for watching. If you want to check more videos that I've done, please click the description below. Please check out all my other videos. And we will see you later. Bibbidi bobbidi bobbidi!